are a fan of shapes, and indeed if you've seen the frankly excellent, if I may say so myself, number file video on platonic solids, you'll be aware that a platonic solid is a shape where all of the faces are regular polygons, so things like squares, equilateral triangles, or regular pentagons, all of the faces are the same shape, and all of the corners look the same as well. So for instance, the corner of a cube is just three squares. And the thing about platonic solids is they're lovely, but there are only five of them. Um, and if I want more shapes than that, if I want a larger set of shapes, I could, for instance, relax one of those rules. So I could say I don't need all of the faces to be the same shape, I just need them to all be regular shapes and all the corners to look the same. And if I do that, I get what are called the Archimedean solids. There were 13 shapes discovered by Archimedes that are named after Archimedes. Um, and here's an example of one. This is called a cube octahedron. It's kind of a cube mashed up with an octahedron. And you can see that uh, it's made out of triangles and squares, equilateral triangles and squares. And every corner of this shape looks the same. So I've got square, triangle, square, triangle. Whichever corner I look at, I've still got square, triangle, square, triangle going on all over this thing. Now, um, with that definition of an Archimedean solid, you can also make this thing. This is uh, an elongated square by cupola, of course. Uh, it's a bit, bit, of a, bit of a mouthful there, so I'll try and unpack that for you a little bit. So I'm hoping the word that you latched onto in the middle of there was the word square. And there is indeed a square at the heart of this shape. This is kind of the basis of the shape that I'm making here. So if I have a square and I attach another square to each of its sides, now I could do this with any shape if I wanted, I could do this with a triangle or I could do this with a pentagon or any other shape, I'd just need a few more squares. Um, I get a kind of cross like this, and if I now take an equilateral triangle and attach it in between each of those uh, kind of sticky out squares, so one in there and another one there, um, and again I could do this with uh, a triangle in the middle but I just need uh, three squares and three triangles, um, I get this shape and this is called a cupola. In particular, this is a square cupola, because it's based on a square, but I could make a triangular cupola or whatever. Um, and if I had two of these, if I had a couple of cupolas, sorry, uh, I could put them together and make what's called a bicupola, just kind of back to back two cupolas. And if I uh, did this with these, this would be a square bicupola. If I were to separate those two cupolas by the length of a square, I would have an elongated square by cupola. If I put a, a strip of squares around the middle, I get an elongated square by cupola, which is uh, the shape that I've got here. Um, and if you find that name quite difficult to remember, uh, it's okay, there is a simple name for it as well, it's just called a rhombicube octahedron. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, and in fact, this has got uh, every corner square, 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 triangle. Uh, here we have square, 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 triangle, square, 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 triangle. So this is definitely an Archimedean solid, except it isn't because what I've done here is not quite what I said I've done. Um, so if you look at the cupola on the top of the shape and the cupola on the bottom of the shape, they're not the same way round. I've put it on with a little bit of a rotation. What I've actually made here is an elongated square gyro by cupola, because the gyro means that there's a bit of a twist in there. Um, it's also called the pseudo rhombicube octahedron, and it is not considered to be an Archimedean solid, even though our definition of Archimedean solid requires that you just have the same corner everywhere and regular shapes. It still doesn't, um, it's not allowed in the club. Um, and it's partly because the original set that was discovered by Archimedes didn't include this shape. Um, and we don't know why. Maybe Archimedes never found it. You know, maybe it was not something that they ever discovered. Um, maybe Archimedes did discover it but didn't like it for some reason. And there are some people who've come up with, I guess, an alternative way of stating the identical corners condition which specifically excludes this shape. It's kind of one of those mean rules that people sometimes make where they're like, you're not allowed in our club uh, for a reason I just made up. Uh, and their reason is that what they want is for the shape to have what's called an isometry. So if you take a shape uh, like our cube octahedron here, no matter which way up I put this, I can always make it look like the same cube octahedron. Uh, if you ignore colours, I guess, in this case. Um, and the thing about the pseudo rhombicube octahedron is I can do some rotation, so I could have it here and rotate it and get the same shape again. But if I do certain rotations, in particular this one, uh, I get something on the top which is very much not a cupola. Um, it's a little bit 
kind of weird. Um, but the thing about it is I like this shape. I think it's really lovely. I like the symmetry of the twist. I like the fact that you've got this nice sort of wiggly line that runs up and down all around it. And I think it should be allowed in. Um, in fact, there's a paper by a mathematician called Branko Grunbaum, uh, which is specifically on the subject of the pseudo-rhombicu octahedron and why it should be allowed as a platonic solid. Um, the paper is called An Enduring Error, uh, and it's pretty brutal. Like, they, they don't hold back at all. They're like, people are idiots. This shape should be allowed in. Here is why. Um, and in fact, they suggest a way that you could maybe recategorize shapes to... Um, to include the um, pseudo rhombic cube octahedron as an Archimedean solid, but have a different category called uh, uniform polyhedra, which doesn't include it, or something like that. Um, and in fact, it's already a bit stupid because the definition of an Archimedean solid technically also includes a triangular prism. If you imagine a triangle with a uh, triangle on each end with three squares round, or a square prism, square on each end with four squares round, um, there are in fact infinitely many prisms that they've already just arbitrarily booted out of the Archimedean solids, and they've just gone, no, that's that's a separate category, that doesn't count. Uh, prisms and anti-prisms, in fact. Um, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to sort of start a campaign of awareness, because if people learn about the Archimedean solids, they won't learn about the pseudo rhombic cube octahedron. Um, so, in fact, I encourage you to tell people if you meet someone that looks like they don't know what a pseudo rhombic cube octahedron is, tell them about it. Um, this is a 3D printed pseudo rhombic cube octahedron uh, that my friend with a 3D printer has made for me. Uh, in fact, they've also uh, very kindly made me this beautiful set of pseudo rhombic cube octahedron jewellery. Uh, so I've got a really nice uh, pseudo rhombic cube octahedron necklace here um, and a pair of matching earrings as well uh, that I can wear. Um, and in fact, I just want people to know about this, so I'll put a link to the 3D printing file if you want to try and 3D print your own of these. Um, make them out of paper, make them out of shapes, whatever you want to do. Um, spread the word, hang them on your Christmas tree, whatever you can do uh, to let people know, because this is a cool little shape, and I think it's really sad uh, that it is not allowed in the club.